A lot of people don't realize that there are some nice hidden tools inside of Civil 3D called Imperial Parking Tools. If you go to your tool palette by clicking on this icon here or going and typing in tool palette or control three, you can see, uh, let's see, you can see here, go tool palette or control three and open up the palettes. If you right click and go to customize palettes, you can organize your palettes into groups or just import a palette and export a palette and share it with others. So at the very bottom of your tool palettes here, there is Imperial Parking and Metric Parking Tools. They're basically dynamic blocks. So if I was to just drop them in underneath the Imperial sub-assemblies here or create a new group, I'll just throw them there for now, and then we'll go take a look at them, you'll see that they are a series of parking tools. And one is this, so you start with this curb island up here, and it's a block, so when we drop it in, it's referencing a drawing, and you can see that when you select it, there's a whole lot of uh, a bunch of grips on it. If I grab this grip here and I stretch this grip out, you can see that as I stretch it out, it actually creates additional parking striping and parking spaces. Other grips do similar actions, such as this one here, will actually make the stalls deeper. You can turn on and off the curb and gutter, or put no curb. You can use this grip to align the block to other objects. And you can use these grips here to change the thickness of the uh, median. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with this. And in addition to that, there's a series of other blocks. So here's just a standard curb island. So instead of having to draw this in on a curb island, you can use this tool to actually create and size the islands. There's an end, you can drop that one in. And then you could use this curved section and just go ahead and draw in, if I snap it to the end there, you can see that I can grab this and stretch it out, add another one, and they're just blocks. So once they're in there, if you wanted to, you can explode them and trim them. Uh, there's some other ones here, a bunch of different parking stalls. So there's different stalls at different angles, and there's both nine and 10 foot widths. Now these were created for LAN Desktop 2006, but uh, they actually have been in Civil 3D ever since then. So you uh, may have not known that. Some of you guys uh, have used them. Uh, you can see here's a handicap parking stalls. If I drop that in, it's got the sign and the curb stop. And as I drag it out, I can flip it around. Again, they're just blocks, so you can explode them if you want to change the size or any of the parameters of these blocks. But they come ship with ship. They ship with Civil 3D and uh, they're available uh, to anybody who, um, who has Civil 3D.